know, 2000 Buddha fans have got to go there and hopefully, hopefully roars onto a victory, but you know what it is, it's, it's hard to see now. I can't take it at Norwich, I can't stand Norwich, it's that club that just irritates me. Yo guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another match preview. Tomorrow, down to Riverside Stadium, Huddersfield Town come to town. What will happen here then? Well, listen, both sides need to win. The other teams won again the season, of course, we're only two games in. 44 to go, lots more games to be played. Lots more drama and twists in the tail will be happening this season, no doubt about it. Now, we all know about Huddersfield. We obviously knocked them out of the Carabao Cup a few weeks ago. I expect a completely different attitude to Huddersfield Town tomorrow. Not so much a completely different team. I think it'll be a very, very similar team that did play against Middlesbrough a few weeks ago. But in terms of uh, attitude going into the game, how they approach the game will be completely different to how it was inside the Carabao Cup game. I personally feel like Neil Warnock, don't get me wrong, he want to win every game. He obviously put the squad out to go and win the game. But he's very, very clever at his old age. You know, maybe he's at half time said to his players, you know, let, him, let these think that we're worse than what we are. And in two weeks' time, we'll go up there and give them a surprise. That could have happened, you know, he's a very, very clever manager as Neil Warnock. You know, he's been on the game a long, long time. You know, so it'll be interesting to see what kind of Huddersfield turns up to Middlesbrough tomorrow. As for us, positive week, really. I mean, away from last weekend's result, two signings coming in the door. Happy days, if you haven't seen the video yet, and the two players obviously signed for us. Go and check it out, last video on the channel. Start of the season for us has not been great, but I feel like, you know, these uh, still starts of the season. Don't get me wrong, us Buddha fans are all about them, because of course last season was very much similar, but... You know, it's just going to take some time. Transfer window's still open and as much as I'm a little bit frustrated about the whole transfer window and about the results and everything else, you know, I have full belief in Michael Carrick that, you know, things will eventually go right for us. Two results haven't gone our way, but I have full trust in him that at some point but will go on a very, very similar run and start, you know, picking up the points and moving up to the league table. Um, first game of the season for us at the back of the Riverside Stadium. It was disappointing. Um, really, really disappointing game for us. We didn't have no real attacking threat, really. Did we? Mill obviously scored inside the second half, took away the three points, won the game 1 0. And Coventry last Saturday, we looked a million miles away. We were not on the pace at all. Some of the players didn't even look fit to me, and it was just absolutely abysmal from start to finish. This weekend, I'm obviously hoping for different, you know, two new signs in the door. Hopefully, that's give everyone around the camp a massive, you know, morale boost and confidence boost. You know, that's LR comes in and he looks he looks a player from what I've seen on YouTube. <laughs> because I'll be honest with you, you know, when I made the video, I did admit that, listen, I didn't know really much about either player that obviously signed for us. I have then got to watch a few YouTube clips. And that's LR doesn't look too bad, does he? But let's see, you know, we can't obviously trust YouTube. How many times we've done that over the years? But as I say, tomorrow it needs three points. We need to be, you know, getting some points on the board sooner rather than later. It won't be easy, as I say, Neil Warnock's team's never ever easy to beat. And Butter fans know all about him now. You know, to be fair to him, you know, he developed others for last year. And, uh, you know, obviously, you know, got a new contract this season. So, it would be interesting to see just what happens tomorrow. I guess now two new signings will probably start the game. Especially at left-back, no disrespect to Hayden Coulson. But I don't think he will be starting tomorrow. I'd be very, very surprised if he does. And, of course, that's it, la. Well, listen, we need a striker to start these games. He has to start the game. My sort of question is all about, you know, who will play him behind him. Will it be Cruxy? Will it be Rodgers? I'm drifting more towards it's probably going to be Rodgers um, because that is, you know, kind of like his role. Don't worry, I know Crooksy can play there, but Crooksy's always done well, I think, over the last couple of seasons of coming off the bench and making an impact last 10, 15 minutes. You know, like start getting tired, Crooksy runs at him. I obviously think that's the best option for Crooksy, but as I say, we'll wait and see. I hope to see Johnny Alston tomorrow if he's fit. Uh, I know Dan Bar last off, he's been starting a fair few games, but I really want to see Johnny Alston get a start, you know, start getting some regular minutes in him. At his old age, but listen, you know, he's absolute Rolls Royce still, isn't he? You know, Butter fans love him, so hopefully see more of Johnny Alves in this season, starting games, that is. My score prediction tomorrow, as close as I think it's going to be, I'm going to back the Borough to win because I don't have a backers to lose. <laughs> if people know this, you know, we could be playing Barcelona, I still back Borough 1 0. Um, call me delusional, call me whatever you like, I love the Borough to pieces and I'll always back us to beat anyone, so as close as what's going to be tomorrow, as tough as it's going to be tomorrow, I'm going to go for the Borough 1 0. Now, Bobby Roo scores, we just need to get the three points, get some confidence going, and get up to the table as soon as possible. If you guys have enjoyed, as always, like, comment, share, subscribe. If you're going tomorrow, let me know down below, and I will see you next time. Peace out.